Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at doing network speed tests between servers using a tool called iperf3. This is a great tool to use for measuring raw network performance because it takes out a lot of the other variables that you might encounter by just transferring a file over such as the overhead of higher level protocols or the limitations of the actual hard drive that you're reading or writing to. If you're on a Debian-based distribution, you can install this tool using sudo apt install iperf3. And I already have it installed. And if you're on Windows, you'll need to go to the website and download the binary. And do note that there is another tool called iperf, which is just the older version of this one, and it is not compatible with iperf3. All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump in and see how this works. So the first thing we need to do is get the service up and running on the server that we want to test to. So we're going to SSH into server 02. And then to get it started, we're going to use iperf3 slash s to run in server mode. And then we're going to jump back over to our workstation and we're going to use iperf3 and then dash c for client mode and then server 02 or the IP address of the server. And you can see it's passing the traffic from the client to the server and we're getting about 950 uh, megabits per second which is basically line speed for the gigabit network that we're on. And if we take a look over here on the left side on the server, you can see we got a connection from 192.168.1.3, which is me coming from port uh, 60048. So it does show you who you who connected to you. So by default, this is going to test a TCP connection, but we can also run it in UDP mode. So if we clear out of that, we come back up to here and we do dash U, we can run this in UDP mode. You see it's a little bit slower in UDP mode, but it does give us additional statistics now, uh, such as jitter, which you can see here in the right column. We can also run this for a predefined period of time. So if we clear this out, we can do iperf3. And if we use the TAC T option this time, we can say how long we want this to run in seconds. So if we wanna run it for 120 seconds and then C for client mode and server 02 again. So now it'll run for 120 seconds or whatever time frame that you give it and then return the results to you. We'll go ahead and cancel that out. Uh, another useful feature is running it in reverse mode. So by default, the client is going to send traffic to the server, but if we run it in reverse mode with TAC capital R, it will have the server send the data and the client receive. So this would be useful for, say, if you have a VPN connection to a remote site and it's over an asynchronous connection, say like VSL where it's 100 down and 20 up, you can test it in both directions and make sure you have optimal bandwidth on both sides. If the remote server that you're testing to has a weak CPU, it's sometimes useful to use the zero copy mode of iperf. So if we clear this out, we can use the uh, TAC capital Z option. And without going into detail with this, basically this sends the data in such a way to where it just reduces the CPU load on the server. So if you're running it on say a Raspberry Pi 3, you might see a higher TCP throughput just because it takes off a little bit of the load from the CPU. And the last thing I wanna show you is using parallel stream. So again, if we clear this out, we can replace capital Z with capital P for parallel streams, and you can do any number of parallel streams that you want, but typically somewhere between two and four is useful. And the reason you would use this is if you were testing on a network that has a higher bandwidth than a gigabit. So once you get up to about 10, or especially like 40 or 100 gigabit connections, you're gonna need to use parallel streams and some other, um, fine-tuning on this to max out those connections. 
So here, if we run parallel streams, you can see how we have two parallel streams and then the summary. And we'll let it complete and then take a look at the end. So we have both parallel streams here and then the summary for both. So you'll see we're getting 954 megabits per second. On a gigabit line, this isn't gonna make any difference, but if you're on 10 or higher gigabit connection, um, this is where you would start seeing the difference. To take a look at some of the other options that are supported by iPerf3, we can run iPerf3 with the tac tac help option. And if you scroll through here, make that a little bit larger for you, you can see all of the different options. So we can change the port. So if you don't want it running on the def default port of 5201, you can change it here. You can have it run in verbose mode, uh, run it in daemon mode, and I'll show you something on that in a minute. You can change the PID file if it's running in daemon mode. Here's UDP mode again, and so on. So going back to the idea of running this as a daemon, if we get out of here and we jump back over to the server, clear that. Um, we can have this run as a daemon if we create a systemd unit file. Um, so what you want to do is use sudo v uh, etsy systemd system, and then we'll call it iperf3.service. And then in here, uh, we're gonna copy in our unit file. So the unit, uh, the description is gonna be iperf3 server. You can name that whatever you want. The after is a little bit important. So we're gonna start after the syslog.target, network.target, and then the auditd.service. The service is going to be the iperf3 and then run it in the server mode and then wanted by multi-user.target. So once we have that in there, we can right quit. And then we can use sudo systemctl enable iperf3. And now when you reboot your server, it should start by default every time, so you don't need to log into it and manually start it. But just know if you do have this running on your server in a production system, if someone sees that it's running, they could flood your network with traffic and bring it to a halt, kind of like a denial of service. And this is also gonna be running as root. So it'd probably be best just to use it uh, on your home network or only when you actually need to run it. And that's about it for iPerf3. Remember, if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.